Alright, what is up guys, Nate 4 here and welcome back to another movie review and today we're doing the uh, movie review, man. <laughs> it hit me that we never did the movie review for Hellfire Hades Attacks the 1980s, the best movie of 2022. And, you know, we did the trailer, we did the movie, we did the director and cast commentary, we did the Kill Count episode, we did the blooper reel, but we never did the movie review, so we're doing that today. And also, I'm doing it because it is the director's birthday today, so the creator of Hellfire Hades Attacks the 1980s, his birthday is today, so we're doing it here. Why not, you know? Better late than ever, I always say. <laughs> but um, I'm going to be giving you guys my review on the movie, my experience with the movie, and yeah it should be a good one man and I'll leave the link for the full movie and the um, you know channel for Will here in this video so go check them out go show them some love and go watch the movie if you haven't already or go watch it again go refresh your memory it's a good time best movie of 2022 don't quote me on that but yeah let's get straight into it I'm not gonna lie we had a blast making this movie <laughs> like if you've seen the blooper reel then you that that that's only half of the amount of fun that we had honestly like you had to actually be there to experience it to fully understand it and man it was just such a fun production um huge shout out to all of you who watched the full movie who watched the trailer the kill count episode uh everything like that who came out to the theater to watch it uh huge shout out to all of you guys much appreciated and i was very thankful for the opportunity uh, i'm glad i got to be a part of it um I was a little skeptical at first, I'm not going to lie. Uh, I was like, me in a campy horror movie as a quarterback? Oof, sounds interesting. But, you know, I was like, you know, why not? Let's do it. I'm very glad that I did. I got to meet a lot of cool, interesting people. Um, and it was just a very good time, man. It was something that... Um, it was definitely probably the highlight of my year for 2022. I had a pretty uh, hard time last year, so... Being a part of this definitely helped me out mentally, and i um, very thankful for it, and it's just a good time, man. Um, it's, it, it, I know, it's, it's not supposed to be taken seriously. It's a goofy, fun movie, but at the end of the day, it was kind of like a 50-50 split. It was also like, okay, the comedy and the you know self-awareness is the forefront, really, but it was also us trying to make like a genuinely good product, like a good project for everyone to genuinely enjoy there was a lot of hard work and effort that went into the project so um thank you all for all of your support and love on the project and will you did a good job with this one man good script uh, great casting everything about it two thumbs up five star review um if you all would like to watch the movie if you haven't seen it already i'll link it um so you can all experience it if you haven't already so yeah man Give it, you know, give it a go around if you haven't already. It's not that long. It won't take up too much of your time, and it's free, so why not? And honestly, it was just a really, really talented group of people. Um, I thought that Will did a really good job on the script. It was a really cool story. You know, he pretty much knew how he wanted everything shot and stuff like that, so that was really cool. Did a really good job of directing and everything. So huge shout out to you, buddy. Happy birthday again, uh, <laughs> Bethany really good job of her cinematography and um, editing skills really really good JT really good actor um, we were kind of intimidated by him at first because he's like he's technically a professional dude like he's gonna make all of us look horrible <laughs> but he is really down to earth he was really you know cool and understanding just like everyone else we never felt like we were being like outdone or anything like that we were just having too much fun honestly um, Katie in terms of acting dude she's really really good uh she brings a lot of charisma a lot of energy to the role so she was really 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 good in the role dude just absolutely hilarious she was so fun to work around um so much just so much energy dude like she just has like such a uh contagious addictive presence to her <laughs> so she, she was really really good um in myself can't forget about chad quarterback himself uh, <laughs> i think I did a really good job of promoting it, did a really good job of, you know, getting the word out, getting people to watch it, you know, you know, definitely a lot of um, posting about it, the KillCon episode, which did really, really well, so thank you guys for that, and asking the uh, general manager if we could, at the uh, Cinemark Theater, that uh, if we could show the movie there, and, you know, he was like, yeah, yeah, why not, buddy, so then, you know, Will and I, we were able to, like, uh, 
you know, get that going. Will was able to get it finalized, so that was really cool. And huge shout out to um, Will's siblings <laughs> and father, who also played a, a pretty good part in this movie. Um, just a lot of talent, man. Just so much energy, just a lot of uh, effort that went into it to make this project as good as it possibly could be. And I think that the movie turned out really, really well. So everyone in the cast just did a really good job, man. Everyone just carried their own weight and we all just worked around each other so well and it doesn't get any better than that man everyone just contributed and it was great and I'm not just gonna say oh it's amazing just because simply I'm in it um, I'm gonna be 100% honest just like I am in all my other movie reviews I'm 100% honest non-biased um, for the most part <laughs> for the most part okay but no like genuinely I do think if you're someone who really enjoys horror movies then I think that you'd really enjoy this one, man. This one, um, it definitely has that horror element to it. It has that comedy element to it. So it does its job pretty well. It's a horror comedy. That's, you know, exactly what it should be. And I think we did that pretty, pretty, uh, pretty well, actually. So I'd like to think that we did our job with it. Um, I'd like to think Will got his vision, how he imagined it, I hope. Um, but no, like, re really, like, what I'm saying is, you know, if you're someone who enjoys horror movies, if you enjoy something that has some uh, personality to it, you know, some heart, you know, I'd recommend this one. I'd say, you know, it's a good time. I'd say you laugh through this one. And the way that the movie was shot, all the um, music in it as well, that wasn't easy to do. <laughs> um, so there was a lot that went into the production and although we didn't um shoot for that long it makes you appreciate those bigger movies you know like a marvel movie that shoots for months so the fact that we shot this in like weeks um that's really impressive and that makes me respect movies even like even more than i already did because there's like a lot of work that goes into it so um I think if we had like a bigger budget with it, you know, if we had like a huge production going on, a huge cast of people, because we only had what, like, like seven people, probably like seven or eight people that helped with the entire production overall. Uh, so that was literally it, dude. We would all have to like pitch in a bit, you know what I'm saying? So that was pretty cool. Um, and. If you guys would like to see an extended version of Director's Cut or a Hellfire Hades 2, you guys got to let us know. You guys got to, you know, keep supporting it, get the numbers up again, and we can probably make that happen. You know, there's some ideas going around, but I won't say too much. <laughs> but yeah, man, um, I did really enjoy this movie. I'm not saying it just because I'm in it. I genuinely do think that this is a fun, lighthearted uh, project. And it was just such a good thing to be a part of. Um, everyone did a wonderful job with it, man. So I'm just overall pretty happy with it. But who knows, man. If there's a sequel, hopefully we have like a bigger budget, more people uh, behind the scenes on set. That would be very beneficial. <laughs> but like I said, that's up to you guys for your support and, you know, overall interest in it, honestly. But uh, yeah, uh, great movie. <laughs> had a very good time being a part of it uh all these interesting people just so much fun so charismatic so talented um very glad that i got to be a part of it and i i never felt uncomfortable i never felt like oh man this is going to be awkward dude like no everyone you know just worked together so well everyone just had a good time with each other it was a lot of fun there was always something to talk about whether it was I don't even know, dude. A lot of our conversations were just really strange. <laughs> but I mean that in the best way possible. Like I said, the blooper reel, that was only half of the amount of fun that we had. So it was something that you just had to be there to experience. Um, so yeah, man, I'm very satisfied with the movie. I'm, I'm probably going to go watch it right now. Why not? <laughs> um, probably go watch it again. Uh, probably take some shots. I don't know. We'll see. Probably put on some 3D glasses in hopes that you know the movie comes to my face i highly doubt that'll happen but why not you know we, we we can hope and dream why not you know but yeah man 
Hopefully you guys enjoyed this one, man. If you did, definitely feel free to drop a like on the video, share the video, subscribe if you haven't already. Go watch the movie. It's linked in the description. I linked it on this in the screen somewhere. So yeah, go check it out, man. It would mean a lot to me. Chad quarterback. But yeah, man, this this movie <laughs> is gonna get a Hellfire Hades attacks the nineteen eighties out of ten. Alright? And that's the best rating it could possibly get. But yeah, man, I'm out. Peace. <laughs> Ugh. <sighs>